Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. This is an introduction video of a tutorial series where we're going to design a responsive portfolio website from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But in this video, I'll just give you a demo of the website that we're going to design. And this is how the hero section of our website looks. So we can see we have some content over here and we have the hero image on the right. And if we scroll down, we can see we have the second section where we have the projects of our portfolio displayed over here. And we also have a hover effect. So if I hover over this image, we can see we have the title of the project displayed over here. In the same way, we have the title of all the other projects displayed over here. And if you scroll down, we can see that we have the services section and we have the three services displayed over here. We also have this hover effect. And if you scroll down even more, we have the testimonial section and uh, we can go to the next testimonial by clicking on this next button. And we also have the previous button. And we can also drag and go to the next testimonials. And if I scroll down even more, we have the skills displayed over here. So we have all these logos displayed over here. If I hover over any of these logo, we have the name of the language or the tool or the framework displayed over here. So this is the my skills section. And if you scroll down even more, we have the contact me section. And uh, here we can fill in these details. And we also have this button over here. And if you scroll down even more, we have the footer over here. And we have the social media icons displayed over here. And uh, here we can see on the left, we can go to these different sections directly. So this is a quick navigation menu. So for example, if I click on this services dot, we scroll down to the services section and then if i click on this uh, skills section we are taken to the skills section and if i click on this first dot over here we are taken to the hero section and we also have a button over here to go to the next section so if i click on that we go to the my projects section and uh, if you notice over here in uh, the navigation bar if you scroll down a little bit it changes the height so we're going to also add this effect and then lastly, we have this menu icon over here. And if I click on that, we have all the menu items displayed over here. And if I hover over any of these icons, we also have the hover effect. And if I click on any of these menu icons, so let's click on testimonials. And we are taken to the testimonials section. Let's go back to the home. And this is also responsive. So let me just decrease uh, the width of this browser window. And here we can see this is the first breakpoint. And uh, we have a different layout for the hero section. And if I scroll down, we can see that uh, for the projects, we have two projects displayed in one row. In the desktop version, we had three projects displayed in a row. But here we have just two projects displayed. And we can see that we have the correct font size for all the other elements. And uh, we also have lesser height for these logos. And uh, here we can see for the footer, we have a different layout and uh, the menu icon works all right. All right now let's uh, decrease the width even more. And this is how the mobile version looks. All right, let's scroll down and here we can see we have one project displayed in a row. And everything looks all right in the mobile version as well. And we can see for the my skills section, we have just two logos in a row. So that's basically how our portfolio website is going to look. All right, so that's it for this video. This was just an introduction of our tutorial series. From the next video, we will actually start writing the code. And I will also give you the link of the source code at the end of the tutorial series. All right, so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.